Hello everyone, it's Jeannie from Makers Unify and today is Throwback Thursday and I'm going to show you how to make a pop tab belt. I made this one for my daughter earlier and unfortunately the video um, didn't turn out so I had to delete it. So I found these pop tabs on Amazon for $10 for like a thousand of them. I did end up having to clean them. I kind of soaked them in some dish soap and let them dry um, and what I did was I actually have pleather that I used for this belt and uh, I got this from Michaels and originally I measured around 12 feet of pleather but it was way too big for my daughter's waist so I would say probably around six to seven feet for a 26 inch waist and then you'll have an additional like six inches on the ends to uh, tie them together for your belt. So uh, I'm going to do a little video on how I started this and what I did. Uh, this is just a small piece I'm going to show you, but um, you make a loop on the end and you tie it off just so that things don't slide off and then this one end you're going to want to leave when you're making your belt, um, leave enough, you know, like I said, on the end so that you can um, have something to tie them together with. So I'm going to do, I don't know, we'll say about six or eight of these. And you can't see what I'm doing here. Here we go. So what you're going to do to get started you're going to take one and you're going to have the shiny part down so the rough side up and you're going to go under each and through and then you just pull that one through and then the next one you're going to take the shiny side up and I'm going to pull these just over to the side for a second so shiny side up overlap them so you have one overlapping half of the other and vice versa and then you take the one thread on the one side and you go down and you take the other one on the other side going down so that you go in, be in between both of those Have it like that and then you're going to take another one shiny side down put it halfway between the last one you did and then you're going to go up and again go up through the two Take another one, shiny side up, halfway between the one that you just did, and you go down. So rule of thumb is shiny side up, you go down, and shiny side down you come up the beginning of doing it is kind of hard because you're trying to keep it all together but just take your time and you'll get there and there you have it you have the start of it and you keep on going until you get a bracelet or a belt however you want to, whatever you want to make. So this whole process to make this one probably took me about two hours to do. Um, you can measure your waist or the waist of the person that you're going to, you know, use it on as you go, just so you know you have exactly what you need. This was really fun to make. And as you can see, it turned out really cute. 
So thank you for joining me for Throwback Thursday. And if you happen to know the origins of when this DIY uh, trend first started of the pop tab belts, let me know. I Googled it, but didn't have any luck. And uh, so let me know in the comments below. I'm pretty curious about it. So remember, if you're a creator and would like me to share what you're making, you can DM me through Instagram at Makers Unify. And thanks again for watching. Make sure to subscribe and like. Until next time, have a DIY day.